welcome to another video about Cubase 14 with the new improvements and add-ons. And today I'm looking at the modulators and they can be found in the lower zone. So if you don't see this box down here in your DAW, that means you didn't activate the lower zone. To do that, you have to go in the upper right corner and all those icons, you know, for the right zone, the left zones, and here in the middle, is your lower zone. So make sure this is like on a light gray. That means you show the lower zone. And if I zoom out of it, here it is. You see your uh, six modulators. And there are many videos being done already about those individual modules and, and some of them really great videos. So go to the Steinberg channel and, and check them out. I want to focus on the knob, the macro knob, which I like the most. This is my favorite so far. And I'll show you what you can do with it. So you're going to click the knob once and you're going to get the module open. Here's your big knob, the macro knob, and you get the plus sign, which is empty. This box right now is not assigned. So what does that mean? You can actually assign any control in your VST to the knob. I loaded the Halion player and the Wurf Felt Piano. And this is a regular piano, you know, with the Felt, uh, you know, approach. It has a very sweet and mellow sound. Now, what they've done in this uh, plugin, they added a texture layer. So if, if I click on the second icon here, everything turns bluish and you see a texture and you can turn this on and off. And I pick the glassy clouds. So this means with the balance button, if it goes towards the blue, we're going to hear that texture. Right? And if I go all the way back to this side, we are back to the piano and now I can actually make a blend, you know. So you can dial in how much you want, the balance and what you want to do. So this is great. This can be automated and that's fine. You've done this before. So this would be just like one control, one lane. You can control and write it. But what if you want to add an effect or you want to add a color change in your texture. For instance, right here, there's a color uh, slider. So it gets a little more uh, brilliant, right? Brighter. So what if I want to change that as well at the same time with, you know, my adjustment? So you can do this with this macro knob. And this is the, the, the fun part. So what you do is you click the plus button and you click learn and you pick the controller. I picked this one first, the balance. And it says it has been established, the connection. And down here, you see the balance. And if I move the dial, you see my, uh, you know, balance moving. It doesn't move all the way to the bottom. Why? Because down here, let me zoom in. You see this white line. This is your range. And you can increase that down here by going all the way to 100. So now if I move the the, the knob, it's going to go all the way to the uh, to the edge. So like this. See, we are all the way in piano mode here, and we're all the way in the, the pad, the texture mode, and anything else in between, OK? So this is knob number one. So if I click on texture and I said, you know what, the color, I want to change that also. Uh, I click the plus button, learn, click on the color. You get confirmation. Now, if I switch, turn the knob, you see the color also is moving, right? At the same time with my balance. And I can also go to the effects, which is purple here. And I can turn on uh, the reverb and I can say, you know what? I want the reverb actually also, you know, changing. So I can click the plus button, learn mode. Let's say I click on the mix, which is, of course, dramatic. And now you can see the mix also goes up, all right? So now with this one knob, as you can see, you can control three different parameters at the same time. And this one you can actually also automate. You can click the, the right mouse key and you can show macro knob automation track, which is going to be up here. And now you can actually write in your automation, which will follow, you know, what your command. Or even more fun, you can have this knob now uh, run by the other modulators. For instance, there's a slot number two, right? So you click on two, you click on the LFO, 
And now I click the plus button and I say I want to learn this knob. And now this knob is activated. And of course, you know, you need to make sure you have a setting that makes sense. And also the knob, let's, let's make this a little wider in response. You can see that there's no limits to your imagination. You can bypass uh, the, the modules. If you don't like a module uh, and you said, I, I don't need this, you can click the arrow and remove it, right? And then it's gone. Uh, yeah, so I think it's pretty cool. Uh, you can get really lost in there. So <laughs> have some fun with it. And I think it is a cool little idea. And back in the old days, you could have done this, but then you needed to create a lane for Every single, you know, control you want to animate and you have to draw the lines or record the lines while you play. So now you can do the one knob, uh, the macro knob magic, right? So let me know if that works for you. If you come up with some cool sounds uh, exploring this new feature in Cubase 14. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.